Uh, we're going to be playing Elden Ring today. Um, this is the settings we'll be using. Motion blur off, AA off, 4K. And we forced uh, vertical sync on so we don't get any screen tears. And of course, Elden Ring is a from software game. It's basically the spiritual successor of Bloodborne, Dark Souls, uh, Sekiro, all of those. Um, so we're going to go ahead and jump in and just start playing. And welcome to our early stream, everybody. Um, and hope you guys have fun. If you guys, just to warn you, there might be spoilers because we're about to play the game that is, hasn't been come out yet. So if you need to be told that. There you go. Now let's go ahead and watch the intro cutscene. Never mind. Let's make our character. So I'm thinking we'll do Wretch, but I also want to do Confessor because that outfit is bitching. That outfit is super cool looking. But Wretch starts naked. Prisoner helmet looks amazing though. That helmet is cool. Yeah, I know. It's like, ah. I think everyone's going to do Wretch and few people are going to do Confessor. I want to do Confessor just for that reason alone. Yeah, I think I think we'll do Confessor. Everyone's going to do Wretch. I'm going to do Confessor to be a unique little butterfly. Let me update that. Um, under the class command. Boom, boom, boom. Confessor. I think it's kind of a battle mage of uh, melee with faith, which is usually how I usually play anyways. We'll have to have chat confess their sins. Uh, type A. Young. Um, mature. Age only affects appearance, no barons on abilities. Keepsake. Um, maximum HP increase. A gold gray shining in the, in, in the eyes of people who spill land between used to gain many runes. Um, golden sea washed ashore by the lands between said to enforce sacred flasks. Um, small ash diminutive golems. Uh, ash is said to hold spirits within. Cracked pot. Uh, tanner for certain throne items. Stone sword key. Two stone keys shaped like swords. Breaks the seal on imp statues. Can only be used once. Bewitching branch. Five sacred branches charged with beguiling power. Said to originate from the demigod Megella. Boiled prawn. Five pieces of boiled prawn. Boost physical damage negation. Um, the crazed likeness of noble whose eyes have been gouged out attracts enemies' aggression. Well, I, I have no idea what any of the web, any of the things do. So I'm going to try the key, maybe. The, the key sees probably the boat, at, but the medallion gives me health. I, I don't know. I'm going to try the key. I don't know what it does, but we'll try the key. Sure. Oh my god, you can change your, your race sit here. Um Hello Daddy. <laughs> I gotta go with that one. Hi Daddy. <laughs> Hello. Um Alter Body Musculature. Match hair. I got some options here. Oh, we want mature voice then. So it doesn't automatically change you to the mature voice if you change your your character. Oh, 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 oh. 
<laughs> that is very mature. <laughs> That's that is mature for sure. Unlike chat, it's very mature. All right, um, we should be called dead. Yes. All right. Opening cutscene. Here we go. The fallen leaves tell a story. Elden Ring was shattered. He said it. In our home, across the fog, the lands between. Now, Queen Marika the Eternal is nowhere to be found. And in the night of the Black Knives, Godwin the Golden was first to perish. Soon, Marika's offspring, demigods all, claimed the shards of the Elden Ring. The mad taint of their newfound strength triggered the shattering. A war from which no lord arose. A war leading to abandonment by the greater will. Oh, rise now, ye tarnished, ye dead who yet live. The call of long lost grace speaks to us all. of the Badlands, the ever-brilliant Gold Mask. Fear, the deathbed companion, the loathsome Dung Eater, and Sir Gideon Othmere, the all-knowing. For the Paladin has risen. To smite this world of evil. And one other whom Grace would again bless. A tarnished of no renown. Cross the fog to the lands between to stand before the Elden Ring and become the Elden Lord. Kind of getting some Lord of the Rings vibes with the story so far. Like the ring of power shattered into pieces. The ring. Hmm. All right, chat. We are 
in the game. It is happening. This is Eldan Ring, and I am the Paladin. Here to smite this world of evil. Uh, just like um, the other games, the intro will make no sense until we like get into the gist of the story. Because right now, like we don't know, we don't really know what the Elden Ring is, what it does, other than some sort of ring of power, and we don't know who any of those people were. But that you're not supposed to. You learn over time. All right, we're gonna explore every inch of this damn game and find all the little nooks and crannies and the secrets and stuff. What is that? Read message. Through the path, though the path uh, be broken and uncertain, claim your place as Elden Lord. Tarnished wizened finger. That is a finger. What does that do? Um, with the inventory menu, you can browse the items you're carrying, drop them on the ground, or throw them away. You can watch these tools from the inventory menu. Show large explanation toggle character data. So this ring, uh, used to write messages in other world to other worlds. Oh, it's the soap. So it lets you write stuff. But the servers are offline right now, so it doesn't work. But it's good to know that that's there if we need it. Um, let's break the stuff here just to see if anything in here. As you never know. Sometimes they're sneaky and they like to hide stuff like right where you start. Fine. I don't know if there's freaking walls. I don't know if there's any of that stuff. Well, he's got he's got nine more fingers. He's fine. Let's see what's in the doorway. Oh, the Dark Souls slow open. I love that. Whoa. The massive tree. Whoa. Chapel of Anticipation. All right, let's see if anything back over here. Funny, like, still like 10, 12 years later, we still got the same barrels from Demon Souls. <laughs> Just roll into them, they break, they don't really do much. It's kind of their style now, I guess. Oh, door. Lock shut. Really? Looks like there's stairs there that lead down to that door. I have a key. Wait, wait. I do have a key, don't I? Inventory. Used to break one imp statue seal. I don't know what that means. I don't know what an imp statue is. I guess we'll have to figure that out. Can't go in there yet. Must come back here later. What do we have around here? Nothing. Very dark in the quarters here. The wall looks fake. Okay, nothing there. What a love wait. Oh, there's stealth mode in this. Oh, you click down and you go into stealth. Anything over here? Nope, just bait. Nothing else. Well, I see a 
giant statue and surrounded by walls. That looks like an arena to me. Oh god, are they going to do that the thing they do in every game where you fight some boss right away and you're supposed to die to it? Okay, well. Everyone else would rush right in there, but I'm going to look around the corners and stuff to see. Oh, I see a boss portal there. Is there any lore in our armor? Ooh. With equipment, you can equip arms, ammo, bow, armor, talismans. You can equip three armaments. Uh, let's see. Switch view right. Uh, there's no description on these. I don't see... Um, In the other game, there is like descriptions on stuff, and I don't see that in this game. Let's see, yeah, I don't see the um, the like description thingies. Maybe it's in the inventory. All right, let's see. Uh, Yeah, I do not see Lord stuff. Yeah. Wait, maybe the help button does it? Let's see. Nope. Huh. Well, I. the other games had, like, little description. Maybe it's just the starter items don't have them because... You're making a brand new character. Maybe the stuff we loot will. All right, let's let's practice. This is probably about the fight. So, okay, let me refresh my dark souls. <clears throat> so, light attack, dodge, block, parry, slash, dodge, dodge. Okay. All right. Oh, they do have them. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. A uh, finger seal. Found it. We found it. A sacred seal bestowed by maiden, a uh, finger maiden, which serves as a catalyst for casting sacred incantations. Incantations must uh, be memorized by the sight of grace, and sacred seal must be equipped to cast them. A medium-sized metal shield used to handle the kite shield of the crest represents a forest and a river. Ah, we found it. Oops. Uh, confessor hood. Black hood for blending in with the darkness. Worn by church confessors. The church outside the lands between dedicated to the teachings of the two fingers. <laughs> and sent confessors out to the guidance of grace. Confessors are loyal servants of the two fingers, ready to hunt down and quietly dispose of their enemies. So I'm of the Church of Two Fingers. Okay. <laughs> Woo. I don't know which two fingers, but all right. All right, let's see if we can. What is it here? It's like a graveyard. Oh, okay. And it starts.
God. Not good. Oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, he hits like a truck. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> That's how they all start with a super hard boss you're not supposed to beat at the first time, but that is... Whoo! <laughs> it's going to be a game. Now probably the real intro starts. Usually in all the games you can beat the first Don't boss, worry, it's just very Tarrant. hard. Fortune is on his side. Side saddle. We found him here, after all. One of his kind is sure to seek the Elden Ring. She said it. Even if it does violate the Golden Order. Golden Order? What is that? Flask of Crimson Tears. Flask of Cerellian Tears. Let's find out what those are. A sacred flask modeled after a golden holy chalice that was once graced by a tear of blessing. Filled with crimson tears, the flask restores HP with use. Rest at a site of grace replenished. The one washed up on the gravesite was sure to die until this flask offered its gift of rejuvenation to seek the Elden Ring. Um, filled with Krillin Tears, flask restores FP with use. Rest aside side of grace to replenish. Oh, they give you flask for mana now. Ooh, if that's what that means. I think that's mana. Uh, memory of grace. The memory of first grace, which once guided uh, begone tarnished the lands between whose all runes are turned to the last site of grace visited. It's merely a cycle. Stand before the Elden Ring become out of the Lord. Message. The cave of knowledge lies below. Hi there. Grave tarnish take the plunge. Of learning and remembrance. Recall the arts of war and your warrior's blood. Um, right. Um, it's so dark. Do when I have a torch or something, it's very dark in here. Oh, it is. Can't see it. It's just so dark out there. Okay, I think the edge of the cave wall is here. Just make sure there's nothing back here, no passages or something. Like, I see that up there and I want it. 
Yeah, game is pretty dark in some places. In the other games, they gave you some sort of like glowy thing around you to light it up around you, but this one doesn't seem to do that. At least not yet. Hello there. What's in here? Gorgeous. What is, what is that? Touch Grace. Did she give me permission? Oh. Oh, like religious grace. Rest at a site of grace. Past. There's times of day now? Look, early day. Flast. Add charge to flast. Go to increase your number of flasks. Amount replenished by flasks. With this menu, you can allocate number of uses in each of your flasks. You have a set total of maximum flasks used. Decide how many are for HP and how many are for FP. <gasps> oh. So you have to choose one or the other. Oh, no. Um, sort chest, memorize spell. With each uh, memorize spell, you can memorize uh, sorceries, incantations, must have a staff or a sacred seal equipped to uh, cast a sorcery incantation, consumes FP. Memory slots, determine the number of slots you can continue to memorize. Um, let's also look at what our spells are. I have two spells. Incantations. Uh, urgent heal. The two fingers has high hope for the tarnish that even if they should be wounded, even should they fall, they will continue to fight for their duty. Heals a small amount of motion, can be cast while in motion. Incantation of the two fingers servants who once served as assassins for the round table hold. Completely silences the footsteps of the caster, additionally reduces fall damage to, and the sound produced by falling. Sorcery can be cast while motion or crouching. Assassins were charged with limiting the tarnished who had strayed from guidance. Uh, assassins approach. Okay. Our first piece of loot, guys. Use the tarnished uh, furled finger to write golden summon sign. Go after multiplayer will begin once you have summoned but from a player from another world. Take on the role of an ally, uh, furled finger, and your objective is to defeat the area boss. Compass top of the screen in case you're actually the summoner. Host of fingers. Oh. Tarnished finger. So that lets you uh, do the summons. Some sort of portal there. What is this? Use stone sword key. Yes. down here. Oh, God. What was that? Oh, God, it's poison. Oh, God. Nope, 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 nope. Quickly. I don't think I deal with poison right now. And there's something big down there. Okay, so those, so you, those, they open these little statues that are for side passages and stuff. Yeah, I don't have anything to, to deal with poison, unfortunately. What is this? Oh, that's an elevator. My god, how do you get that much stone to make that elevator? Yeah. OK. 
Okay. I also wanted to check back here. The message says something about falling. Can you break pots? Yes. You can just roll it. Just Some of them, but they're not really broken. Yeah, the enemies aren't here, which makes me go, hmm. Stranded graveyard. Switch items. Okay. Let's turn um that back to normal. Uh, resting at a site of grace will store your HP, FP, and cleanse any status ailments. Also, refill your flask. However, most enemies you defeated will be revived. You can find sites of grace by going where the light converges. The explanations are required in the form of intro items that can be accessed from the inventory anytime. So, inside of bonfires, we have sites of grace. How are people playing? They gave a bunch of streamers our early access about a day. It'll unlock at 6 p.m. tonight for everyone else, though. Uh oh. Enemy. Locked on target. Yep. She Dark Souls. Dark Souls backstab. We have 14. So if I'm not getting souls, what am I collecting? No, I'm collecting something. All right, come here. Let's see. All right, so kind of a slow attack. Do it again. No, oh, that one's that one's slower. Okay. So a pretty slow one. They love their delayed attacks that make you. Ah, damn. Try to practice parry, but just like the other games, it's very hard. Memorize staffs and incantations. Yeah, yeah. Determine left hand to guard. Yeah, guard because of salmon. Remember that stance was broken. But yeah, very Dark Souls. <gasps> Did not parry. <laughs> it did not parry correctly. There is something right there labeled parry. I don't know what that is. Maybe weapon art? Roller backstab. It's very hard to parry, is what I meant to say. Just like in the Souls games, it's very... Timing is very precise when, when you parry. Wait a minute. A jump button? Sekiro. They gave you an actual just jump button. Nice. Okay, still the weird dash with... Uh, circle, but it works. <gasps> Every corner of land swing, you'll find fruits and flowers, mushrooms and butterflies, various other useful materials. The materials can be used for item crafting. Row of fruit. Ooh. Row of fruit. What does that do? Uh, material for crafting easily found anywhere at least Berry like fruits that grow in shrubs, materials used for crafting. Easily found that everyone land screen has a wide variety of uses. So there's item crafting. Yes, I'm playing the Paladin. He's here to smite the uh oh. Shield user. Um each weapon equipped to armaments, um trying oh, so Ha, <laughs> ha, 
<laughs> Old girl still got it. Hi. Oh, what? Oh, no, you don't. How dare you shoot me with a bow? Healing myself. Armaments have special abilities called skills. Skills are highly varied and range from powerful attacks to every effects. Using skills consumes FP. Did that... Did Pear use SP? Ooh. Yeah, so far, just early impressions, it feels like... Dark Souls. Very, 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 very Soulsy. Although I did notice something on the screen. I don't know if you noticed it, but there is a compass on the screen, just like Skyrim. And we have the Sekiro jump, so it's probably a lot more mobile. Crouch may card may discover you, especially in, in tall grass. Tackman has noticed you cause more damage than usual. So there's stealth spots now. Interesting. Oh, I didn't mean to, oops. I meant to crouch. I've been, horizon square is here. Crouch. Damn. So they, they're going, going more into the stealth thing from Sekiro. Oh, that way. Hello. Sneak. Some attacks will break an enemy's stance, giving you a chance for a, a critical hit. Charge attacks and jump attacks are particularly, particularly easy to break an enemy's stance. Oh, jump attacks. Interesting. So they, so the, uh, they, a lot of Sekiro's quick action stuff, they're being brought into this game. I like it. Um, upon dying, ride the last site of grace that you visit. However, if there is a st stake of Marika near where you died, you can choose to be right there instead. Oh, so it's like, a. Uh, like a mini bonfire that you can't like use if you're not like Can you break these? Okay. Hold on, I need some boss nutrition. Oh no. Oh no.
That was way too easy. That must be... Enemy felled. He had so little help. Must have been like tutorial boss. Like, hey, look, look, this is how bosses work. looks like what they did was if you need a tutorial you drop down in there but if you're doing a rerun or you're doing a second playthrough you can skip it and go right to the game that is super cool so you can skip the tutorial now you don't have to go through it every time that was just like a little this is how the game works kind of a thing and now the tutorial is option you don't do it again ever again if you don't want to Dark Souls is too... It's mainstream? Well, um... Mainstream just means really popular, so... It's sold, like, almost... What, 30 million copies worldwide? You can't sell that many copies and not, like... Have people like it. So. Alright, let's see. Pass time, flash, memorize spell, sword check... There's no level up yet. No level up screen just yet. Guys, no easy place to put myself, is there? So the only options is sort chest and leave. Put myself dead center of the screen. <laughs> yeah, that'll help. Alright, so I guess there's no, um, I can't level yet until I do something. Alright, let's see what's up this elevator after we break these pots, because I have my inner link needs to. Okay, I need to just, just check and make sure there's no... There's no secret doors or anything. Alright, nothing. Okay, big elevator, here we go. up on the right, uh, just above the slow meter. There's nothing there. I am not covering any of you by now. Whoa! What the? Whoa! Other side of grace. Dan, wow! Grace existed. A guide the tarnished and lead them along the proper path. Even now, some sites of grace retain that power. Golden rays will guide you along the way. Oh. Tells you to go that way. Use your map to check the current map! Current position as well as terrain and surrounding structures. You can update your map with new information by finding map fragments at stells along the road. 
You can also uh, use the map freely, place beacons of light to serve as landmarks as you explore. Oh my god. Map menu check, your current position, terrain, freely place beacons, serve as landmarkers. Um, so like the inside of Grace, you've discovered and travel there instantly. Some dungeons and other areas which that cannot be done. Oh my. Uh, hello, who are you? Oh yes, tarnished are we? Come to the lands between for the Elden Ring, hmm? Of course you have, no shame in it. Unfortunately for you, however, you are maidenless. Without guidance, without the strength of runes, and without an invitation to the round table hold, you are fated, it seems, to die in obscurity. He's wearing a mask, Chad. <laughs> Luckily for you, however, there is one shining ray of hope for even the maidenless, me, Vare. Take care to listen. Are you familiar with grace, the golden light that gives life to you tarnished? You may also behold its golden rays pointing in a particular direction at times. That is the guidance of grace, a path that a tarnished must travel. Hmm, indeed. Grace's guidance holds the answers. It will lead you tarnished to the path you are meant to follow, even if it leads you to your grave. Grace's guidance will reveal the path forward, most certainly, to Castle Stormvale, over on the cliff. Oh, there. The home of the decrepit demigod, Godric the Grafted. Our first big boss. Uh-oh. It's time you set off, I should think. To Castle Stormvale, on the cliff, where Grace would guide you. If you seek the Elden Ring, maidenless as you are, it's time you to castle. If you. Okay. Wow, okay, so there is so much. The world is so open. Not used to that. I'm used to tight quarters of Dark Souls. Hello, birds. No? Darn. Well, let's look around, because it's open world. They could put things everywhere. Did I get anything? No? Okay. So we can't level up until we find a maiden? Oh, hi. What is that? It's a beaver rabbit. Oh, pillage corpse. Thin beast bones. So animals drop loot for crafting, I bet. Oh, my. Look at this landscape, chat. You see that mountain in the distance? You can go there. <laughs> A terrier leaf? Hi. Is that a skull? Golden rune. Golden what? What is golden rune? Use again a small number of ru oh runes are souls. So root runes are the souls that we are getting.
Okay, so... Yeah, I've never played anything. Not a preview, nothing. So this is all fresh and new to me. I don't know anything. We're playing on the computer with the controller, which is how I always play the Souls games. Although I do want to try out the PS5 version. Let's see how that runs. Flight Pigeon. That's probably crafting arrows in it. So when the PS5 version comes out tomorrow, I'll probably do a little playthrough on that to see how it runs. So people that are... I'm curious, we'll know. Um, hello, sir. Are, art thou friendly? I come to thy kingdom. That guy looks huge. And like very similar to the boss from Sekiro. So, mm -mm. Crafting materials everywhere. He looked at me, I didn't like that. He stopped and looked. I don't like that. He looks like he is not nice. Row of fruit. I. Not to nitpick, but I am noticing a lot of popping in the uh, environment. A lot of pop! Like stuff popping in as I get close to it. Two golden runes. Is that Santa Claus? Uh, fast travel to sites of grace. They already said that. Santa! You're a tarnished. I can see it. And I can also see that you're not after my throat. Yeah, then settings are maxed. Purchase a little something. I am Carly. Carly. Purveyor of fine goods. Well, the shopman, you can spend runes, purchase various items. You also sell items for runes. Uh, Flask of Wonders Physique. Note imparting knowledge in brief. Uh, waypoint ruins. So you can buy, um, like, information. Nomadic Warrior's Cookbook expands crafting repertoire. Arrow, bolts, shield, torch, torch. Chain cloth. Cracked pot. Jennifer... Crafting cracked pot items. Empty pot somehow mends itself when broken. Essential best for crafting cracked pot items. Materials and magic sealed but then deploy their effects when the pot is thrown. Crafting kit. Leather bag containing pestle and mortal small blade and other tools enables item crafting for the main menu. Provides both means to fight and survive. Ooh. So you can craft stuff. Ooh. Crafting menu. Um, sir, chat would like the lore. Please give us that sweet, sweet lore. I am of a nomadic people, selling wares as I travel. The land has been tainted by madness since the shattering of the Elden Ring. It's only tarnished like yourself, who keep things from drying up entirely. Let's say you're a very welcome customer. Well, Goodbye. I... Nice to do business. Thank you. Um, if you have credit, you make various items uh, from materials you find. Select item craft the menu and make items. Learn more about crafting from cookbooks. You will need uh, cracked pots or other containers to craft certain items. You will not be able to make more of those items uh, than you have containers. Containers will run out with use. Containers themselves will remain. 
Oh, like they're grenades that you can constantly replenish. What is it? So I can... So for every cracked pot Goodbye. I have, I can make Not a... Uh, I can make a uh, grenade, a one-use grenade, throw it, it goes boom, then I have to remake the grenade, but the container stays. At the smithing table, we spend runes and smithing stones to strengthen the armaments. Somewhere in the land between, you may meet a blacksmith, make your armaments even stronger. Smithing stone. With the smithing menu, you can spend runes and smithing stones. Strength armaments up to plus three to smithing table. Somewhere in the land between, blacksmith, you can make them even stronger. So, heavy emphasis on crafting now. What in the hell? Why does that donkey look so weird? He's very thin. Very, very emaciated. Um, sort chest. Place items that are carrying the chest were stored. Take stored out of the chest. You can master items pick up a new item that was stored in the chest automatically. <gasps> if you pick up things that get put in the chest. Okay, uh. Thought he said something about crafting. Oh, it's in my. I don't. It's, it's, it's in my menu. Item crafting makes various items from materials you find. Learn more crafting and finding cookbooks. Fire pot, smoldering butterfly, and string. Oh, wow. Okay. Now, I'm curious if this guy is going to attack me or not. Hey there. Are you... Do you want to be friends? Do you want to see my anime weapon? No! Oh, dear God, why? Ow! Why? What in the heck? What is... Why are you... I just wanted to talk about my anime figurines. What in the hell? Pond dying revived last side of Grace. Shop your runes in your possession. Sight taken. You'll be lost forever. Oh no. Dark Souls. Well, luckily, there is like a thing right here, so. Oh, it's a little tree. Oh, that's adorable. I like that. I think we can take him, though. Close. <laughs> Almost. It's that close. Almost had him. I, does OBS have like a death counter I can just put all there? That, that was two real deaths. The first one doesn't count. It's a tutorial death. Oh my god. <laughs> Can't, I can't make any mistakes. <laughs> he hits so hard. <laughs> I 
He hits really, really hard. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, enough horsing around. Got, I gotta get, I gotta put on gamer mode, chat. So, warning, gotta have my serious face on. Let's see. Ask him about his card shirts. Oh my god. <laughs> Is this little num little bit, little bit, little bit here, little Is this guy learn his attack pattern? He's he's pretty He's definitely beatable. It says you can't make any mistakes. He hits like a truck or a horse. Yeah, his attacks are very tracking because he moves a lot, so they compensated for his uh, maneuverability by... Uh, the horse... Okay, that horse, like, side bump is not nice. It hits it's so fast. Wait a minute. I want to try something. I want to see if it's, it's, he's so big. I don't know if it's even possible, but it could be. Possible. He's not parryable, I don't think. This does not seem fun. I'm going to think that the first thing you fight this game is entertaining. Uh, this is a what's called an optional fight. Uh, you're meant to go off, get stronger, come back, and kick his butt. But if you're stubborn or trying to fight, provide that hashtag content, trying to beat him right away is uh, very challenging but entertaining. All right, we're supposed to go past him, come back later, and we're stronger, but I think I'm good enough to beat him now. I just gotta learn his, all his attacks. Ah, just gotta get it, like, Learn his attacks. He got caught on the thing that threw me off. So if I learn most of his attacks, the one that's giving me the worst um, trouble is the horse bump. It hits really hard and it's really quick. 
and it stuns you and sometimes knocks you down. The frame rate so far a little iffy, but they have a patch coming to help with that. Basically, the way it's going to work, it's like dancing. I have to jump into the dance. Basically, imagine someone's dancing and you have to jump in there and dance with them without making any mistakes. That's how Dark Souls fights work. You can't make any mistakes, you gotta get the rhythm down. And eventually, you get the dance going. That is the worst. That side he, when he attacks you on the side from the horse, that that one's really rough. Is it? Not only does it stun you really quickly, it hits really hard. But it seems like there's a blind spot right on the bat, like his horse side, where he can't quite hit you. I think we're gonna try try playing a little safer now. So let's try playing it a little bit on the safer side by... Okay, nope. Okay, so he goes thrust, swipe, thrust. They did a good job with the fabrics. They've gone a long way since Bloodborne. And again, if, you, if you're playing this, I highly recommend you skip this guy and come back later when you bubbled up and stuff. But I'm weaving into his tags. So I'm starting to get it. He's very similar to that one boss from Sekiro that was literally on a horse just like this. What sucks is my weapon reach is so little, he moves so much. I wish I had a longer reach weapon. It's still, it's, all, it's like hitting a dagger, trying to hit him with a little dagger. It's like he's always just out of range. All right, come on now. Try two-handing. Two hands, definitely the way to go. It uses more stamina though, but does do more damage. So I just play a little more, it's more safer this time, and I think we'll get them. Just have to be a little more safer, a little less blase about it.
Oh, nope. I don't know, his shield's on that side. Where if I hit the other side, I'll start hitting shield and go ding, ding. But I don't know. He's got a big-ass shield he's not using, which is weird. Like, he ain't using that shield for some reason. Can't handle Dark Souls games, wrecks my nerves. Yup. Jump on the horse? I don't know if you can. really get in a place where I can jump on him? I don't know. Alright, so... Alright, we're good. Almost had him. It's jump. Sometimes you jump in the dance and you mess up. Now, diplomatic approach? We'll try. I don't think he will... Uh, clipping through the shield bother me there. So, uh, learning his moves, I think I know now when to attack, when not to attack. It's definitely a little, a little on the greedy side there. He definitely leaves him open to heavy, heavy attacks when he does his triple attack after jumping. I think that's going to be our bread and butter to kill him. Bait that attack and then abuse it. Side swipe, slam. Okay, a little too late in the slam. I need to do his, his boom, swipe, and then slam. He leaves himself open for several attacks. So I think we'll bait that attack. It seems like maybe two-handed is not actually as good as I'd hoped. It's so much faster when I do that. Horse thrust it throws it in randomly sometimes and then throws me off. Does block work? Well, usually in bosses, blocking doesn't always block all damage, and then it uses massive amounts of stamina. So you may block an attack, but you have no stamina to attack with. So it's kind of a double edged sword. Oh, 
Oh, come on. I need to lure him into this field over here where there's less rocks to roll against. These rocks let stop your rolls and stuff. What kind of build in has? Uh, we don't have builds yet. We haven't unlocked anything. We can't craft our character yet. Uh, we have to get to something called a maiden, and then they'll let us level up. All right, so I'm going to fight him down here. I think the rocks are not good. This open field would be much better. Oh, come on, roll! No! Damn. <laughs> Sometimes they hit you, you stagger, like, oh no, the pain, I can't move. Alright, we're playing Elden Ring, and now we got some early access things to uh, Bandai Namco. Alright, no more horsing around. Time to get cereal. I roll. <laughs> I. <God damn>. <laughs> ah! I rolled, sir. Anywhere in the PC patch fixing frame rate drops? Um, I don't know. I know they patched. They had 1.2 out, but I don't know if that's the launch day patch or not. We'll see, though. This game pun punish you for dying. Um. Only if you haven't banked your, your uh, emblems. I rolled and nothing happened! I keep rolling and I'm not, and it doesn't roll. Ah. Uh, thank you, Rapture. Sometimes I hit the roll button and then it doesn't roll. Face your bet. No, there's no Dan Rage yet. There's no Dan Rage. We're not there yet. I rolled! Why is it not rolling sometimes? Sometimes it's just not rolling. <laughs> Sometimes it rolls perfectly, and other times it doesn't. Wait, I wonder if I'm accidentally crouching. I think I'm accidentally crouching in the middle of combat and it's messing up my roll timing. That's what's happening. I keep, I'm pressing the button so hard that I'm crouching and it's messing up my roll timing. I wish I could disable crouching so I'm never gonna use it. Okay, I gotta be next. Ah! Unless he does a fourth one.
I don't know. This could be this controller. I don't know. It was in a closet and it's really old. But some, sometimes I'm pressing dodge and like it's just not dodging. I don't know why. I have I have stamina. Like it's working fine now, but in the middle of combat, I'll just sometimes not be able to roll. It's so strange. Oh my god, I'm wearing a thong. Oh, I have fast roll now. Oh, come on. <laughs> I don't know why we're wearing a thong, though. That's kind of interesting. All right. I don't know why, but my dodge is not working correctly. It's like a delay almost. I do have a new controller coming today, though. Hopefully that helps. It could be too heavy. I don't know. There's just times I'm rolling and it just doesn't work. It's so weird. Can't tell with input lag or what. I did force on vertical sync, and I don't know, maybe that constitutes. Hi there. Do you mind if I stab you in the back? Karuki? Hmm. Let's stab this guy. How did he not see me? Okay. Fire materials, root resin. That's a good way to get some souls at least right for right now. A lot of streamers seem to have problems with the game stuttering. Maybe that's what's happening. I don't know. Who knows? It's We'll see, though. Must have Skyrim levels of sneak. Oh, egg. Wait, that's a giant dragonfly. My god. It's weird, the... Uh I don't see any landscape. I just see the 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 places on the map. Oh, there's a cave here. Groveside Cave. Another grace. Uh, in each area, you might find effigies or martyrs. These effigies are summoning pools. You'll find it easy to summon other players to these locations. As co-op and hostile summon signs created with small effigies uh, at summoning pools. Oh. Summoning pool is now functional. It is 
so dark in caves. Oh my god, they like... It's like you need the torch item now. I'm using an Xbox controller. I find them to work best on PC. Because Microsoft makes Windows and the controller. I feel like I need to go back and buy that torch because you can't see you there. So they took away the ability to see in the dark just naturally. At least there might be an item later. But it is dark in there. Oh, turtle. Hi, turtle. Turtle neck meat. Oh my god, he was so fast. <laughs> my lord. Looks like he goes up behind me when I'm not looking. Yeah, I'm not just come come talk to me. Alright, what are these? Those are things? What? Oh, God. I don't, ew. Whatever that powder is, it's probably not good. got a shiny butt great dragonfly head his butt was very shiny there there's so many like I, I like how there's so many unknowns in this it's all mysterious and new. You only get that once in a, a uh, Souls game playthrough. What is that? That's a creepy looking statue. Someone holding their head? Guide and gatekeeper for those returning to the roots. the roots it looks like the opposite of the light looks like dot oh what is that creature I really need to find the person that lets us level up so that we can get a little bit stronger. But let's buy a torch from Santa. Wait, weren't you? Well, you're back. Care to buy something? Yes, I would like to buy a torch, Santa. What is that awful sound? Goodbye. Nice to do business. Um, uh, gain a small number of runes. How many do I have? 96? I need a lot more. 
All right, so now that we have a light source, let's go look in that cave, I guess. COVID's been rough on everyone, including Santa. So he's probably like, ugh, I know. Well, I do want to try to find the, the maiden person. Because I would like to be able to level up and stuff. Bye. Thank you. You smited villain. Gold tinged excrement. Ugh. <laughs> Why? Ruined fragment. I just took up a big golden pile of poos, basically what he's saying. Hi, dear. I need your meat. Thank you. That looks like it explodes to me. Oh, it's a dung beetle. Uh, there are both crimson and Corellian teardrop scarabs. Defeat them and replenish the flask. That is their type. However, you cannot replenish more than your maximum allows. Oh! It's a way to get flashbacks back without, without having to go back to a bonfire. Or a... a or grace. Is, I'm going to keep saying bonfire. I mean to say grace. Ruin fragment again. Another ruin fragment. And another. Must be for crafting. They're not... Yeah, they're not crystal lizards. They're for replenishing your flasks. Which is cool. And the only way to replenish them in the past was to kill those things. It was to go rest at a, at a bonfire. So this is different. Oh, tree and beast surcoat. Better defense. Worse everything else. Ugly. How the incantations feel? They feel very, very dark soulsy. Pull out your thing, press the button, and you cast them slowly. Pretty much we've seen it before. This seems like they've changed much. We'll see. Alright, let's keep going though. Hi there. Hello, sir. Fine. You're not like the guy in the tutorial, are you? You actually... Go. Good job. You went for it. Now I have your... I'm so conditioned to... to, um... say bonfire and souls. I'm gonna keep doing an accident, but it's... runes? Uh, runes, yeah. Runes and grace. Runes and grace. Love how the blood stays on the ground. I know. Little touches like that are add to your immersion. Let's see. So it's pointing here. Castle front ruin. So there must might be a sign of grace here.
Uh-oh. 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 Oh, God. He sounds the alarm. Oh, shit. That's new. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, shit. There's so many of them. Ooh, flowers. No, run! Brave Sir Dan ran away to fight another day. Oh my god, they all come a-running. So there's alarm enemies now that will alert everything around. That's mean and very from software. It's fine. Ooh, the leader kind of getting his back here by himself. Oh, he recovers fast. Oh, shit. doesn't stagger like the others, too. Oh, shit. This guy's gonna be tough. Oh, man. Okay. What? Oh my god, he is, this guy is not messing around. Oh my god, okay. Oh shit, so he... I'm gonna try to parry, I'm gonna try to... Or not. Oh my god, this guy is brutal. This spear is awful. Oh my god. Sunflowers. Okay, I've got to prepare a little more than that. He is resistant to stagger. Attacks very quickly. Very, very quickly. And doesn't leave himself open to attack very much at all. That is yikes. Okay, we need to go back and... Uh, have some grace. Attack back to the mud crabs. Getting a plus one on our weapon probably help a lot too. <sighs> Everybody say grace with damn prey. Thank you, Grace. Plus one on our sword. Help us a little bit. Yeah, that was... So far, it's open world and stuff, but the difficulty is not even kind of, like, lessened at all. It is 
Still extremely brutal. The game is gorgeous, I know. Almost as gorgeous as chat is. Thank you, chat, for being here. Hope you guys are enjoying seeing a little preview of Elden Ring. By preview, I mean the whole game. Is it a 10? Um, one thing that's concerning is all the reviewers got their code about two days ago. About two or three days ago. And they had to get the review done in 36 hours. So I don't think any of them finished the game. They had to write a review before they were finished. So I... I wish they would have said reviews in progress instead of full reviews. But it definitely seems very good. I can't imagine it not being good, but who knows what the ending is like. Uh, some, some people were able to finish it, but they had to, like, play it all day, every day for, like, four, like constantly to get it done in time. Like, can you imagine how, like, and they had to write it up, too, so they'd have to go through the game so fast and do it so quickly. Not that I suspect this game is going to be, uh, you know, bad or anything, it's just that I can't believe they gave them so little time for the reviews. But it definitely is great. Not an argument at all. Oh no, you're supposed to leave someone open to attack, sir. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> ah. Read message. A chamber lies under the ruins. Really? Oh my god, there's Grace right there. That's so much closer. The enemies adapt over time? I don't know. We haven't played long enough to tell. Definitely some grace here, though. So something is under the ruins. Oh, this is going to be... So stealth is in highly encouraged in this game. If you sneak up on these guys, you take a lot of them out without them being able to react. Now, I want to try to clear out as many as we can before we... Uh, do they see their fallen comrades? Very rarely in games is, do, they, do they ever do that. A lot of them will walk over the dead corpse and be like, Aha! Uh -huh. Must have been the wind. That was me. Sorry. <laughs>
Gotcha. Oops, I didn't mean to press that. There is a chest in there. <gasps> a flail. Ooh. Unfortunately, I just played Horizon Zero Dawn. I mean, sorry, Forbidden West. And stealth button is square. And unfortunately, in this game, using your potions is square. So I keep doing it on accident. I'm like, no! I didn't mean that. No! So I'm like, oh, let me stealth. Oops, potion. Oh my god, you guys are using Dan Panic as a let's Dan Flail. Okay. I see. Alright, what's in this chest? Long s Lord Sworn's Great Sword. Oh, I can't use those yet. I don't have enough strength. That's why I'm doing so little damage. Okay, this guy. Gotcha, sir. Good. He almost alerted his friend there. What the hell? Ruin fragment again. That looks like a massive chest. Yeah, so far this one-handed sword's doing okay. Let's stick with this for a little while. Wait for the horn guy. Because he will blow his horn if he notices anything. Okay. Very, very good. Is there weapon durability in this game? Let's find out. I'm not sure. Looks like no. Yay! Everyone hates that, so yay! What durability is just a timer for fun, and we don't like that. We're going to hide in the bush, and when he comes up close to us, we're going to sneak up to him and kill him before he can blow the damn horn this time. And it should just be the big guy left, I think. Hopefully we can get a good hit on him and then run away and do it again. <laughs> Bravely run away, though, chat. Bravely. Got a friend over there. And over there. And over there. Oh, shit. And there's a dog. Oh, shit. There's still so many. What is this item? Map. <gasps> there's a map. Now we can see the landscape.
Um, unfortunately, it looks like trying to... Herba. Trying to um, kill all these other guys in stealth is going to be really hard as they're all close together. I don't know if that's going to be possible. had to for all time's sake. Oh, there's a good boy doggy. We didn't have to, didn't have to kill the doggy, so that's a victory. At least not yet. Oh no, we might have to. moving for some reason. Oh, there's multiple doggos. Oh, the big guy's coming. I saw a passageway over there. Oh, God. That only does how much health? Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. I I'm going away. I'm reforming my myself and not attacking you anymore. Okay, got my flask back at least. Now is he gonna slowly walk away? He's walking away backwards. Cheater! Well, I'm going to use that to my advantage. So at nighttime, bats come out. That means different times of the day, different creatures come out. Well, that sucks. Oh, hey. How are you? What's up?
Healing with the power of the Lord. My two-fingered God will save me. Okay. Ah. Apparently I worship a god of two fingers or something. I don't know. Looks like I am coming up the loot notification screen. There is a chamber right there that goes down. I'm curious what's in there. Why isn't it release time yet? Okay, I'm gonna use my powers to speed up time. Ah, okay. It is one second closer to the release date than it was before. You're welcome. You are welcome. Do it 5,000 more times? No, I think I'll I'll develop an issue if I keep doing that. <laughs> Takes up too much power. Ooh. What is down here? What is in here? Treasure chest. With a whetstone knife, you can use Ashes of War to grant your armaments new skills at Stites of Grace. Armament can only have an armament can only have one skill. Any skill it previously had will be removed. Armaments an armament's type determines what skills it can have. Some armaments have unique skills cannot be granted new ones. Um, adding affinities with the whetstone knife, you can uh, use Ashes of War to grant affinities to armaments state of grace. Ta aff attack affinity boost, attack uh, scaling, and more. Armist type turns what affinities it can have. Some so far my slaves can still connect with a new type. Ash of War, S Storm Stomp, Whetstone Knife. Ooh. Ooh. Well, that's awesome. This game is rated 10 almost everywhere. I know. It's apparently from software has taken the best parts of all the games and put them into this one. So this is like their um, epitome of gaming. Is that another side of grace? There is, isn't it? They're very generous with those. Lost grace discovered. I still need to find someone that can le let me level up. I can just travel anytime I want to any of these. Just whoop. Spoilers. The loading screens are spoiling feature areas. <laughs> now I can't look at the loading screens. Wait. Won't you? Well, you're back. I would like to buy. Do you have any more stone stuff? No. Uh, I would like to unlock crafting stuff. I don't know what this stuff unlocks, though. See faraway things. Reveals co op and hostile summoning signs. Flask of Wonders Physique. Waypoint Ruins. Let me take Goodbye. both of those. I'm curious what they are. Now, do I use those, or do they just get added to my map automatically? Or did it add something to my crafting menu? Thank you. 
I can make a, a uh, fire pot and throw that. What is it? Let me buy two more of these crack pots. Goodbye. Because they are like grenades. God, there's so many places to explore and stuff. This is crazy. It's so open. It's almost super intimidating how open the game is. How big the map is and stuff. I know there's so many room for activities. Now, I don't know where I got the smoldering fly thing for those bombs. I need to find those and then get more of them. Well, chat, do you want to go in the cave? Chad, do you guys want to go in the cave? Scary cave? All right, let's see. Okay, now we can see, though. The candles are... I wonder if I can light the candles. If I hit them with this... No, that'd be too awesome. Are those wolves just chilling there? Are you guys nice wolves? Or, oh god, he's not nice, is he? Hi! Okay, oh god! Wolves look very good in there. Oh, God! <laughs> We're fine. We're fine. It's okay. How many... How many wolves... Are in this this cave looks phenomenal. This looks so good. The lighting is great. Just eating some soldiers. I love how they were just lying on the corpses, like, oh, we're just sleeping. Dinner made us sleepy. Cracked pie. Ooh. Stone. What is that? Golden rune. Silver butterfly. Ooh, silver firefly. Crafting things. This cave is really cool looking. Make sure we get all the crafting supplies checked. We never know what's going to be useful. We got to grab it all. All right, let's start working over this way. Uh oh, there's a fog wall. Or the mist. Oh, no.
That's creepy. Oh, 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 first try. <sighs> Flame Drake Talisman. Well, first try. I think that deserves some gift subs. And a giveaway? Hey, Kevin, can you do a giveaway? Just let me know in chat when you're ready. Let's do a hundred dollar Steam gift card. Hashtag um, Elden Ring, lowercase. All right. As a warning, though, we I can only get U.S. codes here, in the United States. So if you don't have U.S. dollars as your currency, the code will not work for you. I I don't know how to get international codes, and so. Unfortunately, it's going to be U.S. accounts only. You can make a U.S. Steam account, but I don't know of any other way to work. Um, so type hashtag Elden Ring in chat if you'd like a chance to win a $100 gift card to Steam. Again, it's U.S. dollars only. Since we did our first try. What did we get? We got like a talisman? Flame talisman. Oh, there it is. Talismans boost fire damage negation. Oh. Is that an equipment slot? It is. Ooh. Well, there you go. So we defeated the, our first boss in Elden Ring. First try. That was that was a toughie, but we got him. He wasn't too bad. Just hard enough to get you like warmed up. Now what is this thing? Oh, return to entrance. So they give you a ability to go back to the start without having to go all the way back to the dungeon if you want to. But I may have missed something, so we're not doing that. Let's look around. I may have missed some loot or a secret or something. I need to make sure that we don't do that. Yeah, every time there's a new release, we're going to do some um, giveaways and stuff in chat. So make sure you're tuning in if you want a chance to win. 
Uh, we're doing a gift. Oh, let's do some gift subs too, because that was that was worthy of extra awesomeness. All right, here we go. Incoming guest subs to chat. You use those uh, themed emos from Julia made for us. Probably my favorite is Dan Suss. Looks like a big worm. There you guys go. Play. Mm -hmm. Rest. Ashes of War. Um, grant skills and finish the armament side of grace. I'm play one skill. Any skill will be lost. Any finish alternates. Um, let's see. Stomp. Storm Stomp. Attack power. Oh, does this... So by equipping this thing, it also... By equipping this on there, it gives it the ability and also changes it so the scaling for dex goes up to a D. But the damage goes down. Is that what that means? So when I put it on there, the base damage goes down, but I get access to Storm Stomp. Interesting. Giving pe people in chat a little bit of time they need to follow. They're a brand new person. All right. I would sub, but my wife dislikes me giving streamers money. That's fair. I don't want you to get wife aggro. I mean, Elder Ring's hard enough. Playing it with someone yelling at you? Even worse. Soldier Gauntlet. Oh, it's a boar. I need to find where I got that one thing so it makes more um, explody bombs. All right, let's go ahead and do the giveaway. Um, let's do a drum roll. Type Dan Bongos to do a drum roll, and then we'll draw the winner. All right, drum roll. There you go. And the winner is Natlum. Congrats, Natlum. Chris Sal will be whispering in your code for um, Steam. Congrats. Oh God, I need to level up, but oh, oh no. Oh God, no. Oh God, what in the, no, 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 what the hell? What the hell? That's just a normal enemy. What the fuck? Yeah, I will wait on that speed. That thing, God. Oh, God. Sorry, something's on my ass. I gotta run, sir. No, no. Oh, God. Sign of grace, grace. I need some grace. I need some grace. Some grace. 
There's a big tree. What is that? Oh, God. Golden seed. Ooh, that's useful. Okay, that is... Wolves out of nowhere fall from the fucking sky? What the hell? <laughs> it's a storm of wolves. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, this is brutal. Smithing stone, I'll take that. I need a sign of grace. Are those anal beads? What is that? Ruin fragment. Okay. Oh my god. This is... Ooh. He has a little eyeball? Okay, I really could use a sign of grace. Sign of grace. There was one there. That is so, they had, a, that, that little pathway had a massive giant people shooting arrows at you an ambush of guards holy from software is in a bad mood and they want people to suffer <laughs> they're like damn I'm dead, you people we can't even level up yet oh here we go thank god oh my god that is we can't even level up yet, so all of my souls just sort of have to sort of hang there and not. <gasps> what? Cutscene. Greetings, traveler from beyond the fog. I am Melina. Waifu? I offer you an accord. Have you heard of the Finger Maidens? I've seen the video. They serve the Two Fingers, offering guidance and aid to the Tarnished. But you, I am afraid, are maidenless. I can play the role of Maiden, turning runes into strength to aid you in your search for the Elden Ring. Yes. You need only take me with you to the foot of the Erd Tree. Is that all I need to do? Okay. Then it's settled. Summon me by grace to turn runes into strength. Ah. Another matter. And I'd like to let you know that I've had maidens found. To you this ring. You're not my only maiden, of course. Sp Spectral steed whistle. Use it to traverse great distances. Mount? It will summon a spectral steed named Torrent. Torrent has chosen you. Treat him with respect. Uh. 
Ooh, Shall I up. turn your runes to strength? Yes. Let my hand rest upon you. For but a moment, share them with me. Uh, spend runes, keep your attributes. Um, your level rises your by ambitions. one. As your level rises, so the amount of runes prior to the next attribute. The principles you would follow. Definitely want some more strength. Well, endurance is stamina, though. Well, we don't have any damaging faith things yet, so I kind of need to kill stuff. So, I'm thinking, I'm thinking we do uh, strength first. We could put some better weapons and stuff. Flask. Add charge to flask. We found a golden seed, so now we can have more. Oh, she... she Use spectral seed to summon... Uh, and ride your special sheet. Your special sheet dies. You can summon again, but it will cost you one flask of crimson seed as it do so. Dismount by uh, using trying. Wow. From the pouch menu, you can equip up to six items to your pouches. Four of those items used by opening the main menu. 